oh yeah, we do read reversals with this deck. Sometimes I uh, wait to uh, see how I feel about it, but now I know with this one we read reversals. So what do we have here? We do have the eight of wands in reverse. We are stuck in a situation, kind of difficult to walk away from, kind of difficult to get the energies back into the flow. And we are stuck in unfinished business. We do have the death in reverse. We are waiting for a proper ending, for a transformation of some sort, some answers of some sort, communication. Eight of wands is the energy of communication and um, I want to say project, um, you know, being um, up and running again. You know what? I am going to take this one as the overall energy. And we do have the magician in reverse. Some trickery happening here. The magician lack of confidence. What's going on? Uh, we don't manifest what we need to. And we have the death in reverse. Maybe the Scorpio you are dealing with. And the four of pentacles. Something about money something about endings financial endings with a financial touch um just saying four of pentacles in reverse two of cups money and love are related and the two of cups with the four of pentacles is kind of the energy that i sometimes say um we still love the bastard but we have to let him go right or the bitch for that matter i know i'm not supposed to say that come on okay now you can do better Four of Pentacles in reverse and the world. Happy endings. From death, unfinished business to happy endings. Uh, a proper ending to a situation, right? One where we get what we deserve out of it. Okay. Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. This is your energy. Feeling like a kid. Feeling like you have to start over, right? Feeling like something has to... Um, you know, something has to be given, maybe a communication or something, we'll see. So let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. We do have the Page of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Magician in reverse, and the Palace of Swords. This is of my world of communication. Every time I see Palace of Swords, it's like, oh, please, let it be upright, right? So uh, we are dealing with a little bit of silence here. I know. A little, we are unhappy. Ten of Cups in reverse. We are a little bit unhappy because we don't know what's going on. We are a little bit confused. It, it, it feels like we are in between chapters, you know, uh, because we had the uh, death in reverse. We had the, uh, the world upright, so we expect we won, but we are a little bit in between worlds. It's not completely done, and yet... Um, you know, um, it's not clear um, either, so, but let's see. And you'll probably see the sun on the, on the table because the sun is playful today. Then we have a little bit of a ray of light and then we don't, and then we do. So Taurus past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome. On your side and the person you are dealing with, bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups, a very emotional situation. We are questioning, we are doubting, and we no longer feel the love, and we don't know what's going on, right? Yeah, but you love me. Why Why in the world? Yeah, but I still love you. Why don't you love me? Kind of. You know, talk to me. The Palace of Swords. Talk to me. I have a lot to say, right? I'm unhappy. Why? Page of Wands. Where is the passion? What happened? I feel tricked with the magician, right? These are the energies. I feel tricked. Come on. You know, I'm, I'm insecure. What am I supposed to believe and think? What am I supposed to manifest? What exactly do you want? Um, I see that light went a little bit darker on on this one. So let me play with the with the settings a bit. Let me play with the settings a bit because the sun went away and you are not able to see the cards. And they are so beautiful. Okay, now it's better. Um that was my view. <clears throat> Sorry, it might be a Virgo you are dealing with, and you do have um, the Hermit in reverse, and we do have the star. 
So to major arcana, probably when you met this person, uh, it felt like heaven in a sense that we we have the star. Felt like divine guidance. Felt like destiny. Felt like it was meant to happen. Felt like they were the one, right? Um, and the star again um, can be somebody you know who was um, you know part of whatever the star is. Uh, about people um you know uh, doing a job in the um you know uh, seen by everybody like the um public uh, recognition of something and the star is like oh my god they are the one um a celebrity or something you know that kind of energy can be aquarius energy too um and full of wisdom right um, Taurus, I believe this is something um, you admired, um, you saw in them, and um, that is the strong energy of something that transformed your whole universe, because one is spirituality and guidance, one is the wisdom from the journey. And um, you might have had moments of silence with this person, and then moments of clarity and guidance, and then moments of silence. For some of you, you went into counseling. Uh, both energies of counseling, by the way, and the hermit and um, the star card. So probably you and your person. You might have been married. Uh, Ten of Cups speaks of marriage and um, commitment and maybe um, communication was bad, right? Palace of Swords in reverse, we got silent, we got distant. And we looked for, um, you know, spending time and trying to understand what's going on. And maybe it didn't work out, we don't know. This person of yours, we do have them in the Page of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we also have them in the Nine of Wands. They got hurt in the process, their feelings got hurt, um, their emotions, um, self-protective. Um, I don't know if they feel, they uh, felt attacked. Uh, it is the Nine of Wands, the energy um, of the Wounded Warrior, so somebody might have felt at some point um, attacked or emotionally attacked by whatever was um, going on. Um, I'm sensing they might have done something. They came with apologies and then they went into some form of retreat. And um, both both of you, uh, at some point in the past, there was a, a sense of being cautious. There was a sense of being, um, you know, um, in retreat, not really opening up. And... Um, each in their corner. This is how it feels a bit. Um, Taurus mutual energies between you and this person in the past. We do have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. We had conflicts. We had conflicts and we got confused because of them. We got confused on how to solve them and how to find solutions and what is the right solution. And um, harsh words out of confusion, out of um, out of emotions, right? And um, and then we got lost. That's um, as simple as that. This is how it feels, right? We got lost. Even the hermit in reverse on your side in the past kind of speak of the energy. What am I supposed to understand from this? What am I, What is the lesson in it? I'm not seeing it just yet, you know, because being entangled in energies of um, speaking but not understanding each other. That's a five of swords, right? Might be taking advantage. I don't feel. Maybe some of you took advantage because you do have the magician in reverse, some trickery going on, some uh, mind games and um, verbal manipulation. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it came from a pla place of honest confusion between the two of you in terms of feelings, in terms of guidance, in terms of destiny, of wish fulfillment, of wanting, of emotional maturity of this connection because we do have page of cups, right? So... At some point, we got a little bit um, in, a, in a certain way. Um, Taurus, where are we right now? We do have the Ten of Wands in reverse and the Hangman. We are a little bit suspended, waiting. Uh, probably you feel like you sacrifice or you are the one sacrificing right now. And with the Ten of Wands, the situation is heavy and we want, we just want this to be over a bit. Uh, we need right to uh, breathe a sigh of relief in some way we did a lot of work for this connection this is your energy probably what's uh what surrounds you and probably you still do 
um, you take responsibility for a lot of what happened and the, the things that I need to do. What I love about this sort of and um, and uh, it um, um, no, I'm not gonna say it because um, it's not something. But what what is um, um, actually beautiful to see on your side is the hermit and the hangman, both energies of illumination, of wisdom, of trying to stretch your mind and understand the situation from a different perspective. Um, it has the energy of um, of awakening, of awareness, which kind of reassures me um, that you see the higher good in it. Um, you kind of start to see why is this happening. Um, getting some perspectives, right? On and um, and hangman is um, also the energy of looking uh, to the future, right? In in some way, because now we got the lesson. If maybe in the past we didn't see it with the Hermit in reverse, or we are resisting the lesson in it, I'm sensing now it's, um, you know, uh, we, we really get it. We really understand why and how. And now this person of yours, um, Taurus, they are in the Knight of Wands energy. This is Sagittarius energy, but can be Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius and the Ace of Swords. This is um, them becoming clear about what's going on. They may be at the distance. They might be a little bit, um, you know, ones in reverse. We know it's a little bit of, um, I don't want to say lack of direction, but, you know, searching and looking and trying to um understand but it is paired with the ace of swords they are developing a vision a new beginning they want to um know where they go this is about ideas right and um ace of swords it's um kind of a formal communication so i don't know if um you are in separation with this person or not but ace of swords is cutting the unnecessary bs and uh, moving forward because they want to um get their mojo back in some way they want to get back on their feet um the ones up in the air right in a sense that um passion and um and action and movement and progress and um oh baby so the energy between the two of you right now we do have the five of wands so in the past we had the five of swords now we have the five of wands and the nine of cups in reverse we are unhappy um, about what's going on and how the situation is progressing. I don't know if you have fights with this person. Um, five of Wands, of, again, challenges and obstacles and um, and conflict and competition and fighting. I don't know if you are divorcing this person with the Ten of Cups in reverse. might be actually an indication of divorce and separation. We might be fighting for whatever assets and whatever, you know, whatever you want to take, whatever they want to take. Um, and it's interesting because I'm sensing a lot of wisdom on your side and I'm sensing a lot of, um, I'm done on, on their side a little bit and, and, um, might be because right now we are and internally conflicted and also going through challenges as, um, as a couple. What's going on to us? Who is hurting us? I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a lot of healing, um, Taurus. Even with the start in, in, we know it's about healing and alignment in the past. I'm, I'm sensing that somebody here is aligning, especially on your side and awakening and, and kind of um, seeing the bigger picture um, of this. <clears throat> now moving forward, all energy is coming your way. We do have the King of Cups and we have the Three of Wands in reverse. This is an unexpected offer of love. It can be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio um, coming your way. You had the Page of Cups in the past, Knight of Wands. We don't know just yet in the Page of Wands. We don't know if it's a fire sign or a water sign, but they um, they come your way. Three of Wands in reverse, unexpectedly, right? And King of Cups is a big offer of love. Um, emotional stability can be you actually embodying the energy but we know king of cups is an offer of love so i would expect actually emotional bonds with um people 
Now, Taurus, this person of yours, they are in the Six of Cups energy and the Seven of Pentacles. They know you are their soulmate and they are so patient about. They are waiting for the right time to have this reconciliation with the Six of Cups is the energy of coming together. Is the energy of um, of um, of a special bond, um, body, mind, and soul um, kind of bond. But they are waiting for the right time. For some of you, of course, we have children. Six of Cups is the energy of kids, and we have a lot of toys over there, and we have a bunny and a little bear. Anyways, uh, but I'm sensing more of uh, the inner child and the inner bond that they have with you. They are very patient, right? That is a right time for reconciliation. This is their energy coming their way. I love this. Mutual energy is between you and this person. We do have the chariot in reverse. can be a cancer energy. And we do have the world. We only want happy endings. That's exactly the energy here. We only accept happy endings. The chariot in reverse is um, stagnation. But in this situation, it kind of tells me that we are bound to happy endings. We don't expect less than happy endings. Right? And the energy might be a little bit upside down. But the energy coming your way, it's simply amazing. Yours and theirs. This connection still has love. Taurus, King of Cups and the Six of Cups is a lot of love. Um, and a lot of patience and a lot of work. And probably it takes a lot of work for both of you. Um, but hey, we are taking happy endings, right? We want to have actually happy endings. Why not? And it kind of makes sense because this um, they are going through a process. Somebody, um, and I go again to that um, idea of how we have disagreements, right? And um, it's quite interesting I, um, because we have different ways of um, having disagreements, right? And um, some of us, we can get extremely hurt by words and we believe that we are attacked, right? And we think, you know, and we become emotional and um, and everything can be a fight. And and we have the other side of the spectrum where, um, you know, I um, I lived in Italy for, for um, I don't want to say many years, but for a certain amount of time. And they have a certain way of speaking and it does look for the un, for the. Um, unadvised and ignorant right it can seem like a fight but it's a beautiful argument and uh speaking the truth and presenting and it comes from a place of honesty right but it does look like a fight so <laughs> you know and probably this is what's going on here you know somebody might have felt attacked or you know we were saying something and it felt like um like a personal attack you know um like a, a personal um you know, uh, I'm throwing this at you and it has, so um, I'm just saying, but they, that is a sense of clarity coming their way and that is a sense of patience um, to their approach and that is a sense of emotions and, um, and happy endings, right? Happy endings. They are stuck on you, you are stuck on them. It's kind of difficult to, right, to separate, walk away and do whatever, uh, you think you want to do or you want to do for real or something but you are stuck on each other okay now let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to do here looks complicated so tell us this is true love baby this love is once in a lifetime so hell yeah it might come with trouble and challenges, but yeah, this is true love. We do have spiritual connection. What other way than this? True love and spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. And we do have this one, relationship, relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So it is true love, it is a spiritual connection, and yes, it takes strength to recognize the need for change. So, kind of like the universe saying to you, Taurus, you need to make, this one is on you. You are free now to um, choose what you want, actually, right? And yeah, if you want to change this, it will require strength. Oh, the universe sending you again towards your intuition, Taurus. You simply know this, baby. That's the universe saying. 
go within, right? You are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There is no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. And we do have the Messenger of Thought, which is the Page of Swords in traditional tarot. And this is communication. But Page of Swords is about clarity ideas, genius ideas, new beginnings. And um, this is kind of the universe. If you go within, you'll get your wits and smarts, right? Uh, of course, this is more about work, but hey, this is the message you need to hear today. And um, it says a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There is so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know will meet or are someone who loves um, to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. So um, it's about going within and it's about learning, um, especially if you need, uh, if you feel that you have to make changes about the current situation. And let's see the energies that we need to get back into the flow. When we do have surrender worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Okay. Forgiveness. Worry and forgiveness, right? You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So we need to get forgiveness out into the flow. We do have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So no private investigation. We simply go with the intuition. We have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And bottom of the deck, surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. I'm sensing they will, um, you know, because again, in divine timing, um, they bring the harvest actually to you, Taurus. Six of cups, seven of uh, pentacles. Um, so, hey, this is all that I have for you. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.